as a leader, how do you show your team that you care, but without caving in either to demands that you think are not right or unfair, or when you're putting them under a great deal of pressure and you can't afford for them to take their foot off the gas? Well, here's where we come across the dichotomy of empathy versus sympathy. Let me clear those two up for you. Sympathy is when we put ourselves, well, align ourselves with how the other person is feeling. In fact, sympathy requires agreement. So we start to join in as we sympathise. We start to feel some of what they're feeling. And we will come out with phrases like, poor you, I'm so sorry. So we're actually feeling sorry for the person. This has the effect of putting them in a, in a pit. It actually confirms their, their hopelessness, their state. Because it must be true, if I'm agreeing with you and you already feel bad and you can see me starting to feel bad, then it's true. OK, empathy. Empathy is very different because what we're talking about here is agreement free. Empathy is when I show you that I've understood where you are, but I'm neither agreeing nor participating in what you're going through. And the fact is, I don't need to, to understand you. That leaves you in a state of recognising that you're not alone in the world, but also you'll notice that I'm not offering you suggestions. I'm not giving you advice and I'm not pitying you. The sum effect there tends to be that people feel more energised, more capable, because the worst hasn't happened. They haven't had their catastrophe confirmed by an outsider. They haven't moved that outsider. The outsider has shown caring, but hasn't jumped into the state. And so what will happen to the person who is being empathised with is that they will start to come up with ideas to get themselves out of their scrape. Now, let's come back to the team. If I'm empathising with the team, I'm showing them that I care, that I care that, that they're going through something that is unpleasant. It sounds like this. Look, everyone, I'm I'm really aware I can see from your faces that you're fed up right now about the sorts of hours I'm asking you to work. Especially because I can't actually tell you when it's going to stop. Now, in a statement like that where I'm saying how they feel, what about and why, I'm not agreeing with them. I'm just telling them that I really get it. It allows me to follow up with but I'm just going to have to ask you to keep going or come to me individually if you've got a real problem with this. So empathy is not incompatible with moving forwards on a solution. Sympathy is.